Hello guys, Zbigniew Fukowski here and today I want to tell you about a quick hint about transforming your, your Compose action into a single good looking JSON. And why to do this? This is really important for basically a couple of reasons. Three main reasons I can uh, tell you is that, that using many Compose action will extend your license to a higher tier because instead of many compose actions you can use just one compose json uh, second of all it will uh, boost your performance because uh, you can use the json instead of compose or instead of variables if you are not updating those variables this is a, a common mistake to use variables when you can use compose and you can use compose json for even faster performance so this is a second reason and third reason is it will look better because instead of a compose outputs you will get a nice looking json name and i will show you in a minute how to do this okay so i have my action this is uh, applied to each condition i use many co compose item here just for uh, let's say testing okay so i have compose uh, with current item which will test each item which will be iterated because you don't uh, if you iterate the flow and you will get uh, an error then you don't know on which item you will get the only option is to save this item so i'm saving this in current item this uh, is just uh, a variable value which is saved in compose and i have also test name this is uh, actually random just to show you how to create a good looking compose json so i go to my actions i create compose and then in inputs i will just use the json schema i have already schema prepared so the schema is uh, curly brackets at the end and uh, at the start and at the end and you get a double quote for uh, for your uh, variable for your JSON part name and then you will get the the colon and then you can use your values and first I have instead of the compose 6 I have a test name I have string you can save an object into JSON this will also work the current item is an object with many different parameters this can be saved as just as a current item and in variable i have an integer so i i have just the number i can use save this json here so i've already created json and how to use part of this json so i will set the variable here you will go to the expressions you will have to do it manually this is one and only downside of using this scenario so i will use the compose2 which is name of my action then the square bracket and in the square bracket if this json may may or may not be there then you can use the 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 question mark but in my uh, in my example i will always have the values there so i will just use i want to i want to get the current item here so i will use the current item which is this name this name oh sorry <laughs> oh, let me go again uh, i wanted to show you and i forgot how unadvanced this this tool is cool 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 current uh, item here and as you can see this looks like an output and hmm. Uh, the, this looks like a, an output and uh, you need to hover over to see the the value but you will check how this change if i will go with the save the flow i will go back i will edit the flow again go to the apply each go find my json my compose and as you can see after the save it looks good right now it, it knows that this is a current uh, current item <laughs> uh, 
it's safe to be uh, the second letter as capital letter. Let uh, let save and test this flow. Cool, cool, cool. We got an error which is not the in the scope of this this uh, scenario. Let's see. Apply to each, of course. Successful. Let's go there. Let's see. In compose JSON, I have the test name, I have the current item as my object, and I have variable test counter one. And uh, this is also in the set variable because it was set by, by the part of the JSON. So this is working. We have working JSON instead of one to infinite compose actions. Remember, if you are using this JSON, some people will re read the flow and will ask, why do you do this? So you can just ha have a comment or you can add a note here. JSON is used instead of instead of many composers, right? So you can use, use this. Uh, this note to inform people which will read your flow that this is this is for the readability and for performance and for uh, and not depleting the actions so this looks great you don't have to hover to know what you are setting this variable so yeah that's what's it i hope this was helpful if yes you can sub like etc you know the drill i have many other videos on power platform power up power automate power automate desktop the whole microsoft stack and i'm a big supporter so yeah it's being a out see you